my website. I'm steady building it. I am building, building, building it. It's sugarpearlsonline.com. The YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls. I also put a link in the description. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Hey, boo, hey. Mm. I'm so glad to be back with you tonight. Hey, everybody coming on. I wore my glasses. I can see comments. See, with my other device, I, and I love it. I love it because I'm able to go between platforms and all that. But the writing on it is so tiny. So tiny. This, this I can work with. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Make sure. Make sure. You know, um, the best thing you can do if, if you want to support Sugar Pearls. Okay, if you want to say, oh, yeah, I see her on there, she's from my hometown or whatever. Yeah, do you support her? Do you support her? I'm not talking about money. No, support looks like this. Okay, so you can share this video mm -hmm, on your page right now so that your friends can meet my friends and we can be friends. Mm hmm. You can like or love. You can comment. Let me know you were there. Hey, Walitha. Hey, honey. Um, see how I know she there? Yes. It says, Walitha Scott is watching. And then I say, hey. So that's how you can support Sugar Pearls right now. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's how you can. Now, coming this summer, I'll have a product for you to purchase. <laughs> you can support Sugar Pearls that way as well. But... Um, it, you're going to love the purchase. It's something that you're going to use often. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, uh, if you're a foodie like me, you're probably going to use it quite often. All right. Hey, hey, y'all. Mm, mm. I love you for watching. Share this video. Become part of the Sugar Pearls tribe, honey. Grab yourself a glass of wine. Now, yes, this show is frugal, okay? So, a lot of the things that I cook on the show are not very expensive, okay? You can go to your local Aldi, Piggly Wiggly, Food Line, Publix, wherever, honey, Bilo, whatever. You can go there and get the stuff you need to make yourself a really beautiful sexy and delicious meal that looks like you paid a chef to come in and make. Okay? All right. This show is for y'all. Mm-hmm. You get tired of making the same old thing all the time. And I got to be honest. I had to take time away from the show um, because I was, I was getting stuck in a rut. Mm-hmm. I was getting stuck in a rut. And I, I needed to be able to taste other things and venture out and experience different flavors and, and not forget that. So, um, I'm going to be taking some more time, child, to, you know, enjoy some other folks' food, too. Um, but on this show, yeah, we teach, we, you know, try to show you anyway, if your hand ain't put on backwards, how to make a beautiful, fancy meal. Kind of on the cheap. That's good, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, But it's also therapy. So when I have stuff like, I just got to get off my heart. Like, I just appreciate y'all, like, letting me do that. I know sometimes it's, this girl is a lot. She's a lot. Okay? So they're like layers and stuff to me. Um, But so y'all just let me unpack it sometimes. And, and I appreciate that. I really, really do. Yeah. Um, Friday night, let's see. I went to the store. I wanted to get Mahi Mahi, um, but they didn't have any. But they had halibut, okay? Sometimes when you like go to a nice restaurant and you order like a fish taco or something, they use halibut. Mm-hmm. Because it's gorgeous. Now, you saw some of like the raw pictures I showed you with the skin on. The skin looks a lot like, I'll show you. Here it is. 
The skin looks a lot like um, flounder skin, the dark Scott side of flounder. Here it is. When I um, when I skinned it, I did pretty good. I did okay. I don't have too many chunks coming out, but I was able to pull some sheets of that skin off to leave this beautiful halibut meat that we are going to fancy up tonight. Oh, honey, it's going to be so fancy. What you talking about? Because just because you you frugal and living on a budget don't mean you can't have yourself a a beautiful sexy meal. I believe I believe you should. Everyone should. I did this pretty good, almost like a fishmonger. Okay, you saw the pictures where I started from raw. This is that skin. Yeah, I got some little fins over there don't worry it'll melt off as we cook it but this fish it's got a bone uh spine that runs all the way down don't worry it's so big you're not going to accidentally eat it okay but the fish let me just be honest i've never cooked halibut before <laughs> never never but i'm hoping it turns out great um i'm looking for a light Flaky, it almost has like the color of cod. Okay. Um, and that big bone running right down there. Oh yeah. Um, so we're gonna try it out. I'm going to I'm experimenting, so you know me. I'll bring you in closer too. Um when I see people who do it well, I wanna I wanna learn from them because I want to do it well too. Okay, so I saw a chef. He is called Fish the Dish. He's the host of Fish the Dish. He's so funny. Oh my God, he's just <laughs> amazing. Anyway, so on his show, he has a, it's called Fish the Dish. So he makes a fish dish where he uses like a cocktail. He infuses like a cocktail into it. Well, he used some orange bitters in a fish one time. And I was like, I got to try that. I forget what fish he used, but the halibut was all they had today, so this is what we're going to do. Okay? Like, share, subscribe. That is the best way you can support me and this channel right now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, because when the algorithm sees that you like it, you support it, and you share it, then they go, oh, people like this. We should do more of this. So then they'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a science. So go ahead. Share, share. The only thing I'm going to season this with is some black pepper and pink salt. That is it. I might do a little bit of, um, I'm going to do a little bit of onion powder and paprika. Okay? Only because it's so white. Now, that's not going to matter in the end because we're going to make a blood orange glaze for it. I know that sounds really, really fancy. But, honey, we actually got the blood orange. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> it's going to be so sexy. Now, the blood oranges were not cheap. Okay? That was the only thing that splurged on. Okay? But let's get the salt. Here we go. Pink salt, cracked pepper, onion powder, what I say? Paprika? Paprika. Okay, with those pieces of fish. Um, okay, let, let's just get going, all right? I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. And because I'm using um, an older device, I can actually do that. I've got my old tripod. My Honey, I just wanted to go back to basics tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, blue, blue, blue. Um, don't worry, I'll come back and check on you in a little bit. Just watch my hands. Watch my hands, okay? I don't measure nothing, so you got to pay attention. All right. You got your pieces of halibut out here. You want to go ahead and give it, um, because this is it's a pretty thick chunk, but, um, the good thing about it is it's nice and flaky, so you don't need to oversalt. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to go back over there. Uh-huh. And with the rest on your hand, honey, you just... 
Yeah. Okay, let me try not to mangle it too much. More black pepper. Press that in there. Because I wanted to be able to uh, have a, a little bit of a crust. Okay. Let's go for a little onion powder. And just take the residue off your hand. You don't need to overdo this because we've got a little glaze that's going on it. Okay? All right. So I already got a really hot pan going over here. We're going to let this sit for just a minute. Now, let me get something to wipe my hands off real quick. Um, I don't know. You say what you will, but I like the old setup. <laughs> I like the old setup. I feel closer to you. Yeah, boo. I do. So, oh, and my paprika. Put this over here. I hope you've been having a good week, honey. I took the week off unexpectedly. I didn't know I needed to, but after a visit with mom and dad, <laughs> um, I just, I needed... I mean, no, the visit with them was great. Yeah, the visit with them was with mom and dad was heaven. It was just having to process work things. It's, I just needed a break from it. I didn't want to have to process work things. So I've been posting a lot of sugar pearls. Been loving that, boo. Ooh. Mm. Posting a lot. Now, I'm going to give you a quick announcement tonight, too, about um, the release date, which is coming, for the product that you can purchase and support, Sugar Pearls, mm -hmm, just like you're going to do by sharing this video, and um, something about um, Studio Kitchen Live also, at least for the summer. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let me show you these beautiful pieces of halibut. Tonight we're doing a seared halibut with a blood orange glaze and some bok choy, baby bok choy. Okay, this is the halibut. Nice and seasoned. I've never cooked it before, but um, I've watched people do it, so that almost makes me an expert. <laughs> okay. So in my really, really hot pan, okay, and I know it's hot because I had it on long before you guys came here. Long before. I'm going to hit it with just a little more oil, though. I'm going to back you up for just a little bit here. Right there. That's where you want to focus, okay? Let's give it just a little more oil. Awesome. Um, it's totally up to you which side you want to do first. I like to do the flat side down first and leave the raised side up, okay? We're not going to flip this fish. We're not going to peek at this fish. We're not even going to th think about it too much. We're going to let it develop a crust, all this beautiful color here. We're going to let it develop a crust, and then we're going to flip. Then we'll remove and we'll do the rest of our thing, all right? But I'm going to tell you about the bok choy next. All right, so go ahead and lay in a coated pan with the neutral oil. Go ahead and just lay it there, just like that. Don't touch it, all right? The last piece, flat side down. Yeah, that's what I want right there. That sizzle when you go in is what you want. Okay. Put a little on the back side there where I don't want it to stick at all. Okay, so on a medium high flame, let that go. Let me talk to you about the bok choy. Okay. Um, a Chinese vegetable, honey, very good for you. You want to get your system together. Do you want to get your system together, I said. I thought so. Then you want to be incorporating bok choy in your diet. Yes. Why are you not? Huh? Huh? 
honey. So the way you're going, I'm going to show you how to cut the bok choy in a little bit. But the way we're going to, we're going to sear it, okay? And we just cut it down the spine. And I was today years old when I realized that in the middle of this bok choy, look at the little florets right there. Look at them. Right, right there, honey. Look at that. Isn't it cute? I took some high, high fidelity pictures of them for you that I'm going to show you later. But we about to see it. So we're not going to see all of it right now. I'm going to just do a little bit for the show. Get some pictures and all of that. And then, um, all right. Now let's move the oil. I'm not moving the fish. I'm moving the oil around. Okay. I want the oil to hit all sides of the fish. Hey. Thank you for watching. And thank you for sharing. Share it right now. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Share the video, honey. Let folks know that we eating good in the hood in my kitchen tonight. Fancy food on a budget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is our seared halibut with bok choy that we're also going to sear. And a blood orange glaze. Yeah, it sounds fancy, right? Yeah. The, the most expensive thing is probably the, the oranges. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, really. Now, when we get ready to flip this fish, um, actually, no. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna throw some color in there with it. I've got, let me show you the, the stuff I got there. Alright, so I got some shallots. And red onion, I'm not going to cook the red onion, I'm going to leave it raw. Got some green bell pepper, of course I got my blood orange, some shallots, some sliced garlic. Honey, I've been working. And I'm also going to slice, which is what i got to do right now, some lemongrass. Alright, so lemongrass is another... <laughs> ah, there you go. So... Maybe you've seen me on the show do this before, but with your lemongrass, really peel back those stems until you get to the almost the whitest of the white part. Okay? I got my trash can behind you. All right. Like this. Okay. See that? Okay, that's what we got to get rid of. Just peel that back, and once you do, you'll be able to slice it, and it'll be nice and tender in the fish. All right, hold on, let's take that one more layer. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see, and it's just, there we go. Keep going. I know it seems like I can get them a lot. Now, before you get to the purple, right? Oh, that smells good. I like um, lemongrass and, and tea. I'll just like steep it <laughs> for half an hour. And, oh, God, when I tell you just all through, it's so good. Yeah, next time you're at the farmer's market, um... Just a lemongrass. Oh yeah, that's a tender shoot. All right. That little bit of smelling so good. All right. You're not ready to flip just yet. It looks amazing, but it's not time. You can take a look. Not quite time. Now, the way you clean bok choy, because it, it comes like this, okay? So, it can be very sandy. So, when you get your bok choy, you really want to inspect it and make sure that you open it up and look to See, that's a little shoot right there. I could plant that and grow bok choy, okay? This one I kind of already cleaned out. There wasn't a lot of sand around that one, so I'm just going to slice it. And the way I do that is like 
this in order to get the pretty florets that you're going to see. Okay, so you got your bok choy. And see that spine right there where it's kind of raised up? Right there. Take your knife right along that spine. There you go. Like that. Okay, and that is how you cut it so that you can put it into... Isn't that pretty? Look at the little florets in there. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Okay, let's take a look at the fish. I'm just going to turn it. Oh yeah, a little bit came off. That's not. That's all right. I had to season this pan today. I know it um just old and warped, and I wasn't really taking care of it. Oh yeah, the bone is going to tell you a lot about when this fish is done. Okay, so if you just keep looking at that big old bone right there, you'll be able to tell how done the fish is on the inside. Okay, so let that go for a minute. When that comes out, we're going to add our bok choy and our aromatics. Um, and then we'll do our blood orange glaze. Okay, when this is almost done, we're going to baste it with a little bit of butter. Mm. Yes, here. Uh, here we go. Put that lemongrass on there so I don't forget. I'm going to just talk. That lemongrass is going to cook along with our other veggies. That's fine. Um, I'm going to try to throw... Let me cut up some of this thing. Hey! Oh my God. Y'all, I got my glasses and I'm still missing all the comments. Hey, Belinda, y'all, thank you, look at y'all, look at y'all, oh my goodness, that is so sweet, I wasn't even paying attention, thank y'all for watching, thank you for sharing, ah, uh, alright, let me go ahead and cut up, I got some shallots, I think that's gonna be a nice sweet addition, to the fish, so just cut the top and the butt off, and a little layer of, there we go, I don't mind it kind of chunky, I'm going to do one more. Mm. Yes! Oh my gosh! Hey, boo! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry that um, I'm missing comments, but I, I promise you, um, every night after every show, I always go back and I watch the show myself. So sometimes I'm able to go back and comment and um, kind of see what you guys see. So... I'll, I'll be catching up with you. <laughs> okay, so I got two small shallots there. Um, along with our, these are the veggies that will accompany our dish. Um, some red bell pepper, shallots, there's lemongrass and sliced garlic under there. There's some green bell pepper. Okay, okay. Bok choy, I've showed you how to slice. We're just going to take a few of these, lay down, okay, all right, as a matter of fact, um, I think I'm going to, I can use this pan, right, Read it. yeah, so I got a smaller pan, um, and I wasn't going to put the fish in it because I don't want it to crowd, but I can put a few pieces of bok choy in the smaller one, like that. salt and small something pepper. Okay? That's it. That's it. Don't do too much. It's a very fancy meal. Few ingredients, but fresh ingredients. 
Y'all should have seen me in this kitchen that fish tonight, child. Like a, like a real country girl who knows what she's doing. Dad. <laughs> I know you're like, you don't know nothing about skinning no fish. I skinned it. I skinned it, though. Okay. There we go. That uh, oil is getting nice and brown. That is beautiful. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, right now, for this one, let's go ahead and take a few pieces of these nice flowery <laughs> bok choy and just lay them in there. And you're just going to leave them there. I'm going to do three. I've got a lot, so um, I'm going to save some tomorrow for pictures. All right. That's bok choy. Where's the salt? Here. It'll be fine. You can add a little more as you go, but I'm just dusting a little on there right now because I don't want to overdo my salt intake. So that's going. Uh, I need to add a little bit of oil to this. Of course, I've got a nice seasoned oil. Just drizzle a little bit. It's really going to make a difference. Don't worry if the crust comes off of the halibut. Remember, you've got a um, blaze that's going to go in here. So while the fish is doing its thing, turn that bok choy down because it won't take a lot of time. Let's go ahead. I know, I'm going to show you the fish. It's ugly, but that's okay. When I turn, I, I kind of pull it up. Let's get a uh, pat of butter in there. It'll come together. Don't worry. Don't worry. Get it in that butter, honey. Yes. Mmm. Look at that. Okay. Place that a little bit in there. It's fine. It's done. Now for the fun part. Are you ready? All right, baby. Here we go. My orange. So we're gonna turn this down. Our butter is starting to brown just a little bit. Now just go ahead and take your blood on. Don't worry about the seeds. Nobody's gonna eat the seeds. They will be able to see them. And then scoop out some of that pulp. Just stick it on out. That color. Is insane. Oh, that color is insane. Alright, we're going to take a few drops of orange bitters. Just about six drops. And base. 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 Face. Face. Oh yeah. The color, the aroma, all of this. Let's go ahead and get this. I got more surface in here. How's our bok choy doing? It's moving. The leaves are starting to wilt. That's a good sign and a good idea for you to go ahead and add the uh, balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Turn it up. I'm going to burn some of it off, but that's okay. I've got a, another orange here. It's not a blood orange, but it's going to give me some of that citrus. So I'm going to go ahead and 
hit my halibut with some of that. Uh, once that comes up, we're going to taste it for salt, pepper, and it should be ready to start waiting, son. Yes, bok choy done. Done. <laughs> I know it just feels so nice feels like you're doing something nice for yourself you know when you can make something fancy really ain't nobody coming but you know what oh god that lemongrass though yeah now that um, glaze has soaked up some of the bits from the bottom of the pan. I'll show you in a little bit. Right now I'm going to um, slice up a little bit of this red onion. I wanted to keep it fresh. You could cook it along with your other veggies if you want it, but I wanted to. There we go have some paper thin pieces all right it's time to play you ready okay mm. oh you got all that butter the butter the oil the bitters the orange all of that the only thing I didn't do, crap, was zest my, zest my orange. Oh, gosh. Chef Ramsay would have my hat. All right, hold on. Let's get some. And the, you see the fancy meal. Do you, do you see how long the fancy meal took? Honey. No time. I know. That's why. You can do something like this for yourself. Okay? You can. Oh. Food and Wine Magazine. Oh. Yes. Honey, just try it. Just try it. Oh. Trying to avoid all that splatter on the plate. Excuse me. Honey, you know I... If you can't do it for yourself, how are you going to do it for somebody else? Huh? I'm going to save one for the picture. I'm going I'm to eat the one that's not so pretty. Now. And I'll keep this for the picture. Lord, it's coming apart from the bone. That's what you want. That's how you know. I want some of those veggies. Oh, God, those shallots, though. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. I didn't. Oh, let me see. I might not need no more salt. Let me check. Oh, this is dinner. This is dinner in under an hour. Okay. I'm just pulling that. Remember that big old bone that I showed you? Hold on. That's it. What? Look how tender and flaky. That don't, that don't just came up like nothing. Like that. Wait, that's a huge piece of bone. All right, let's get some of this flake. It is so flaky, y'all. Let's just eat. Hold on, thank you. Oh, yes. Presentation wise, mm -mm, no, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to work on that. 
I'm gonna work on that. When I do my pictures um, with the other one, with the the piece that's whole, it'll the orange glaze though. The orange glaze though with with the bitters. Six drops. Six drops of aromatic bitters. Mm-hmm. No more salt. Not for me anyway. Salt to taste. Salt to taste. This? Mm-hmm. If you get it, ask them to skin it first and see if they can pull the pins out, the pin bones out for you. Huh? If you don't want to do like me. Mm. Ooh, bar choy. Ooh, bar choy with the balsamic glaze. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Not even 45 minutes. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. The only thing I would have done differently, um, but I didn't because I wanted to show you from top to bottom, with that halibut, um, if you can season it and let the seasoning sit in it a little longer, if I had let that salt and pepper and onion powder really sit and go through the fish, mm, um, that's my only, that's my only correction. Marinated. Maybe I could have done like a, um, blood orange marinade for it. Mm -hmm. I'll try it this weekend. If it works, it's going in the cookbook. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, definitely with the halibut seasoning. You can, yeah, I could have been a little more generous with the salt. But honey, she ain't mad. Blood pressure and shit. Mm. 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 Oh, I look so ignorant. Oh, my gosh. Try something new. Try something new. Nobody want to keep on eating chicken and salmon all the time. Want some, now, my diet ain't going to change too much. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to eat a lot of seafood, fish. Y'all know that's... That's just how I've been living. It's keeping my blood pressure down. I don't make them TikTok recipes. I don't. All that cheese and stuff. And high blood pressure season. I don't do that. Because I don't eat like that. Right? This is frugal and fancy. And therapy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so good. You've got to make it. Mm-hmm. Simple. Fish don't have to be fried. You can fry the halibut if you want to. You could. But why? Mmm. Why? Mmm. I love a lot of, um, I won't say love. I take that back. I like, um, how vegans are bringing vegetables and the love of plants and all of that to to the forefront, you know, 
of our food chain. I love that. I, I really, really appreciate that people are trying to find a more sustainable way of eating. Okay? With that being said, everything don't have to be fried to, and made to be tasting like chicken. I know. I've done it too. I've done it. Oh, I'm going to make this so, so, so. It tastes just like chicken. Why? Why are you scared to taste the vegetable? The vegetables taste amazing. You just got to get used to raw and semi-raw eating. Um, am I going without fish and seafood? Probably not. Probably not. But um, vegetables, one thing my doctor can say about when it comes to my checkups and stuff, my vegetables, my fiber intake, on point like pa pass me the peach pass me a banana or something like I'm gobbling it up so it takes time it takes time to just kind of shift from oh I'm gonna make a big old pot of you know you can do that once in a while but every month you got a big old pot of stew meat with all kind of innards and stuff. And I ain't not going to, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But also think about another way. Think about another way that won't raise your blood pressure and won't, you know, have your bones aching and creaking out here. Child, you want to be 46 and on skates like me. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much much for tuning in i appreciate y'all i love y'all remember the best way you can support me right now the best way is to share the video that's it to share the video um i i was gonna make an announcement okay the release date that is coming up in i think it's set for the first tuesday in august okay I'm saying that. I know it's a Tuesday. I, I think it's the first Tuesday in August. The release date as far as the product coming to Shopify. Hey, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> thank you. Um, so that's coming. Um, and what else? Yeah. Oh, this summer. So this summer with me doing Eating Good in My Hood and Eating Good on the Road, um, I'll start eating good on the road in July. I usually get July off, so I can just kind of go here and there, you know, from state to state and see what's popping. Um, so I'm saying that what that means is I may not be doing Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live every week, every Friday. So what's on my calendar right now is first Fridays. So first Friday, Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. And um, that'll be starting in July. <laughs> Yay! Yay me! <laughs> it's not that I'm doing less. I'm doing more. Um, I'm still going to be posting my videos and all that stuff. Um, but the weekly show will probably just be once a month. Okay? Every now and then I might try to sneak in another one. Okay? If you give me a good recipe idea. Or if I find one. Okay? Alright. Well, stay tuned. I'll have more coming your way. But um, thanks for tuning in. Share the show. Share the love, honey. Thanks for being here. Know that I love you. And I hope you love me back.